Good morning, people. It's the weekend vlog and it is Thursday, which of course are the new Fridays, but definitely so is the case today because I'm on holiday, people. Oh, yes. Uh, what have I done this week? Well, Monday and Tuesday, I spent doing some stuff for the um, for the channel, some editing, extra videos and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, yesterday, we had a great day out in London, just me and Mrs. OG. It was very nice indeed. And uh, I dropped a little bonus um, vlog video. I was aiming to drop it on Sunday. So if it didn't drop on Sunday, it would have dropped on Monday. So hopefully you've gone and seen that. If not, pop one over and take a look after this, of course. Um, yes, so it's Thursday. I'm currently in a queue for pre-sale Iron Maiden tickets. They're playing with steam. <laughs> yes, next summer. So I'm trying to get a ticket for me and Mrs. OG. Little OG don't fancy it. He's seen Maiden a couple of times already. He says, nah, I've seen them now. I've got them out of my system. Like, you know, I love them. I've seen them a few times, but you can't see enough of Maiden people. You can't see enough. Anyway, I'm in some sort of form of a queue thing. And it's like 20 minutes, 26 seconds until the tickets open up. These are pre-sale ones because I'm a member of, obviously, my Stan Football Club. So I'll get a 24-hour, yeah. But, but again, they only release so many tickets, don't they? And then they officially go on sale tomorrow. But what I like about these pre-sale tickets, they're not on at 9 o'clock in the morning. So people aren't getting up at silly o'clock, setting up their computer systems and all that, you know, joining the queues. Uh, these go on sale at midday. So it's a bit more sociable. Yeah, let's just hope there's no shenanigans like it was for Oasis tickets. I gave up on them in the end. Yeah. Anyway, Maiden. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm lucky this morning. I ain't got to get them tomorrow. Getting there in the countdown, people. One minute, 40 seconds to go. <laughs> it's exciting stuff. Just hope I'm not in for a major disappointment here. Well, done that. <laughs> it's gone through and it, I'm now in another queue. Ah, 7,381 people are ahead of you. Expected arrival time on the website, 12.38. Well, at least it's saying something. <laughs> but you know what's going to happen, don't you? It's going to get to, I'm going to get to the front of the queue and then it's going to drop out or throw me out. Or I've made and got their, their, their put together and are doing what Oasis couldn't. <sighs> time will tell. And after much faffing around, lots of dropouts and stuff, we are there. It's now 12.34. So there we go. Confirmation. Yes. Maiden, here we come, baby. Yeah, I'm pleased. We got tickets. I'll be on in the end. I'll try to select it. Because it says rear standing, right? To obviously you're on the pitch. But you have to choose seats. So I'm really confused. It's obviously not standing. It's going to be seated, I'm guessing. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, so anyway, I've got two tickets. Me and Mrs. OG are off to see Maiden. Oh, yes. Oh, great start to the weekend, people. Thursdays are definitely the new Fridays now. Thursday lunchtime, it's two o'clock. Just gone at half, 20 past two, so it's not even lunchtime. But hey, all, day, all time's blending into one when you're off work, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm stuck in traffic, making my way to the vets. I'll go and pick up Luna and Leia's flea treatment. The weather though, isn't it nasty? It's doing all sorts, mate. One minute it's sunny, next minute it's chucking it down with rain. I tell you, it's not good, people, it's not good. Anyway, I'm gonna get there, get this um, uh, uh, treatment for the girls. No doubt that'll incur a heavy cost. <laughs> but hey, no point having pets if you can't spoil them and look after them, is what I say. Um, and now I'm gonna get back. I've, I've pressed a couple of mugs this morning, they were pretty cool. I'm very pleased with one of them in particular. It's really bright, really vibrant. Um, yeah, so I've done that, and then what am I going to do? I'm going to give Mrs. OG a hand, because where I sorted out my office, she wants her little craft room sorting out. Now, the problem is with, with Mrs. OG, bless her, she gets very sidetracked very easily, which well, I'm pretty similar to what I do as well. Um, but she'll sort of pick something up, and then she'll go, oh, oh. And then she ends up going off on a bit of a tangent for an hour, and then like, oh, I've done nothing. So I've said, I'll give her a hand for an hour or two, and we'll get the, the start of getting her room sorted. So she's got her space as well, you know? And then out to the games room, because I've got a load of clearing up and sorting out to do out there. So, again, it's gonna be busy and productive. I've had a really good week, actually. I say I only had Wednesday off out, which was that bonus vlog you saw. Hopefully you've seen. If not, do watch it. But 
yeah, it was a great day. But I'm just cracking on, getting so much done. It's just good, good stuff. Got Lara Luna's bits. Popping into Sainsbury's now. Get something for our tea tonight. Not sure. Might do bangers in mash. Might do flatbreads with a bit of salad and some spicy chicken. Might do burgers. <laughs> really haven't got a clue, have I? And see what punches me in the face when I get in there. Burgers are sounding tempting, people. One of them, bit of lettuce, onions, bit of cheese, a few fries. Oh yes, Miss OG, don't go with it for these. I'm gonna have to get her something else. Do love these rolls in here. Very, very nice, the crusty rolls. Just a job. Beer aisle here, let's we'll see what the offers are. Stella, currently 18 pound, pound a can. 12 bottles here for a tenner. Yep. San Miguel's on offer, 11 pound for 12 bottles. That's not bad, not bad at all. All the 10 cans. Decisions, decisions. These chicken burgers here, these are very, very tasty indeed, people. Don't mind some of these. There we go. That one took a dive. How much are they? £2.75. Here they are, aren't they? Very nice. That coating is particularly crispy. The ice cream, guys. The ice cream. The Mackies here. It's always got to be the Mackies, people. So one of them. I've tried the honeycomb. But very disappointed with that. Not had the raspberry ripple, but hey, I'm just keeping it this. And I love flaking a flake on it. So happy days. My chores have been completed, people. What time are we on? I think I'm gonna hit the school traffic now. That's the problem. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yes, five to three. It's about to get a bit nutty on the roads <laughs> for at least a good half hour, 40 minutes. Anyway, yeah, I like to avoid the school traffic normally. But my chores are done, I'll get home and then that is it. I am done. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, some nutter just come come across me on a moped, and he and he's not on the school run. Well, I hope not. Anyway, anyway, onwards and upwards. Let's get home. <laughs> Escape the nuttiness that is the school run, people. Yes, indeed. Up in the office, people. Uh, I've I've been working away here, but as you can see, look look at this big blank space of a wall. Now we've just moved Mrs. OG's cabinet out. So I'm going to move these um, shelves here over to the shelves over there. That pair of jeans there is going to go into my wardrobe in the bedroom. Uh, but with this bit of space here, once I've moved that shelf, I'm going to put this here. This here is my movie poster frame uh, for my quad movie posters. So I'm going to interchange it and stuff like that. That is going to go up on that wall there. So that's going to be mounted properly there. So that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, change it out and stuff. But I'll probably keep the Star Wars 3D poster. I've just always liked it. You know, the episode one poster. But I've probably got about well over a hundred movie posters of all different genres so you know i can change it up every now and then for when i'm streaming and stuff we'll start back on the streaming and everything else so i'm gonna have a bit more of a sort out up here but it's got in a mess again because i had to empty everything from that unit so me and little og could cart it down the stairs for mrs og so i've now got a load of her art and craft stuff up here on currently on the floor which i will show you now yes i will uh, here it is, look. So I've got all this, all Mrs. OG's art and craft materials here. I say all, oh, this is only a little bit from the cupboard. Uh, so this is going to go down uh, eventually, bit by bit tonight. And um, by doing that, we're then going to uh, start getting this room back to, to, to how it should be. And Mrs. OG's going to start getting her room straight down there. So we're it's really good. We're having a really good organisation organisational day again. <laughs> Can't matter in my words, you know. Anyway, I'm going to go and get dinner done now, people. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit peckish. Mrs. OG has now emptied the room of all her bits. They're all gone downstairs to her little art and craft room. She's busy 
prepping. Although downstairs, it looks like a bit of a bomb has gone off, to be honest, because she had loads of paperwork in, in her little office room. We all know what that paperwork's about. Anyway, I've got some great news, people, those that watched the vlog. I had a couple of messages um, just come through on my phone. They said, oh, I've been sent here, blah, 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 and what, what? And then someone else said, oh, oh you know, so-and-so sent me. Anyway, it transpires, these YouTubers have given me a shout-out. <laughs> Brilliant. The channel in question is these guys here, look, two sync. They do FIFA, <laughs> you know, the OG and FIFA. Oh, yes, it's the bane of my life, especially in charity shops. But anyway, this guy here, Chris, in this video here, yes, this one here, he said some very nice words about me. Let's take a look. Here he goes. Yep. Subscribe. I know that a lot of reviews aren't subscribed. A lot of people don't bother um, just because people just go to your channel. They know when we upload. So you don't need to subscribe in theory, do you? So many channels I watch, I'm not even subscribed to. Yeah. It's a guy called OG Duffy I watch. Just makes vlogs, you know. He just goes out and about, you know, drinking beer, buying video games. And it's just very entertaining, you know. I like YouTube uh, videos like that, just real, it's just real, you know, just... So there we go, what a lovely thing to say, and the point he was making about his subscribers there are exactly the same for this channel. Um, about 40% of my views are from people that subscribe to the channel, and the other 60% of views are non-subscribed channels. It's just the way it is, it's, you know, not everyone subscribes, but as he says, they know when you drop videos, so they tune in anyway. But... Hey, subscribe anyway, people, please, because it's a nice number to see going up anyway. Really made my day, that, so thank you, Chris. Much appreciated, that, yeah, definitely. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable. So, a uh, two-sync, Chris, top man. Say I weren't having a beer, but you made me. <laughs> to be rude, not to. Good morning, it is Friday. I've uh, got a little bit of work to do up here. Uh, Mrs. OG should be back from her art craft group in about 10 to 20 minutes time uh, she needs to pop out to get some bits for her little craft room she's doing uh, some boxes maybe some shelving and stuff like that so i'll take her along to that and keep the bits up uh what else am i up to and i think later on it's gonna be a bit of beer o'clock in it people <laughs> i've got some editing to do got all sorts of bits to do the weather's looking pretty poop have absolutely zero plans this weekend so who knows what will happen watch this space so to speak anyway got a few little bits to do here then wait for mrs og's return then no doubt i'll be out and about just taking little og off to his mates there he is he's off out for the weekend well, you say I'm off out for the weekend. It's not like I'm going to visit, going to visit yeah. your mates for yeah. the weekend. Yeah. yeah, they don't live too far away, so we're going to pop over there. We've got to stop first, though, because you've got to buy some shopping. I have to buy a birthday card. It's not really shopping. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, so we'll drive you over and, uh, yeah, drop you off. Get rid of you. Yep, get rid of me. He's gone. <laughs> plague. Yeah, like the plague. Anyway, weather's absolutely poop. It's not great. Nah, anyway. Onwards and upwards, people. Just drop little OG and drive him back home and there's a seafood stall. <laughs> so I stopped and I bought some pots of all various seafood. Bits and bobs in there. I can't really, he's bagged it all up and it's all sort of stuck together. So I'll sort that out when we get back. I've got some in mayonnaise or some just plain bits, yeah. Spent £20 on seafood, people. That's me and Mrs. OG's lunch sorted and probably our tea as well, I'm hoping. Oh, it does smell good, though. Seafood, you going for it? I do, I love it, mate. There we go, people. That's a lovely bit of lunch. Crab. Bit of everything in there. <laughs> oh, yes. No eyelids, though. We've popped out, people. I've dropped old Josh off. Uh, we're currently on like an industrial part. There's home base here. There's a Dunelm mill. What is it you want, Mrs. OG? Storage boxes. Storage boxes. And I'm going to get a storage box for I me. I have my weekend. <laughs> <laughs> it gets exciting, mate. I tell you, you wait. You wait till you get to, to our levels in life. Yes, you get excited by storage boxes and like that. Anyway, I'm going to go in. I'm going to get a storage box too. Oh. 
for my mug printer and things like that. You be careful now. Don't yeah. do it. I'm gonna. T and then what should we do? Town. Town, because you know what time it is, people. Yeah, it'll be about beer o'clock. Oh yes. <laughs> More storage boxes than you can shake a stick at, people. Look at them all, loads. This is OG's getting all excited. Loads more down there. And there's a deal, look. 20% off when you buy two or more. That'll do us. What a touch. I'm struggling, people. Look at all the options. Look. Storage boxes everywhere. Look at them all. And then when you're done along here, you come here. There's even more there. <laughs> and then I'll turn around and there's more there. Oh, mate, I'll tell you what, I need the box a bit clever here. <laughs> I'll get my coat. Oh, it's what's Mrs. OG fan? Look. It's a, box it's a box within a box. 16 little boxes inside. Show the camera. Show them good people at home. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. I can't think of anything they've put in there myself, but you never know. Hi guys, I'm here with Karen. Just popped in, and uh, her son and herself are great viewers of the channel. Oh, we are. Yeah. yeah. He's going to get the umbo, he, isn't he? <laughs> Probably, yeah. Tell him to drop me a message. Will do. All okay, right, he can buy me a pint. Oh, that's a good idea. No, I'll buy, I'll buy him a pint. Of course, we're going to go there now. Too. Yeah, we're there now. Anyway, lovely to meet you, and Karen. You, Thank you very and much. You. Take care. See you later. See you later. And we're in the vineyard, people. Let's go get me beer. And unfortunately, guys, you can't actually hear what I'm saying on the video because I'm doing a voiceover. The reason being, Justin Timberlake and his song, Mirror, or Mirrors, I don't know. I'm not a Justin Timberlake fan, people. A bit of Maiden, a bit of Slayer, a bit of Metallica. And frack sometimes, but definitely not Justin Trouser Snake. He don't do it for me, I'm afraid. Mrs. OG's just gone to uh, to the shop to get her sister a birthday present, so I've had to stay and have another pint. It's a hard life, you know, people. It's a hard, hard life. Anyway, cheers onwards and upwards. Happy days. Hey. <laughs> oh yes. Can't beat a cold pint in a pub, my friends. Oh no. Pop to me local European supermarket because I need to get something for me tea. We need a few bits. Now I'm looking at the shelves here, some great items, but this caught my eye in particular. Pumpkin soup mix. And look at that. Cock flavour noodle soup mix. Mmm. Each to their own, I suppose. Chicken, but I'll tell you what though, you do get some good stuff in here. Look at that. A Dana Kofta mix. Mm. Oh, no, watch me new. That'd be bloody lovely, that will. I do like an Adana. Right, Kofta, what a kebab mix. Wait, right, why some good bits in here? I do like coming in here. And the beers, you get different beers as well, look. Yeah. <laughs> All good stuff, people, anyway. Get amongst it. Look, vineyard, look at all the wafers there. 99p. Big old packet there. Look. 99p there. Tell you, it pays to come in here. It does. You get some really good stuff. Anyway, I'm going to get amongst it, people. All sorts in here, people. All sorts. But look, look at this box here. There you go. <laughs> it's a goldfish. <laughs> yeah, quite big. Finished in that European supermarket. I do like it in them places. You see things you don't normally see, so it's always good. I bought myself a Turkish pizza. Basically, it looks like it hasn't got any cheese on it. It's more sort of meat. But anyway, could be a laugh, couldn't it? Didn't buy that cock soup mix. Pop that in there, bit of shopping. Next bag in there. Shut the lid to the car. And let's get home, people. These are the pizzas I bought for my tea, which I thought were pizzas. It's called Turkish pizza. But what's good about them, look, you get three in a packet, and it's like thin bread with like a, a, a sort of a mincemeat topping stuff. So I'm going to make my own pizza based on that. I'm going to add a bit of cheese. I'm going to add a bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of the other. We'll see what I end up with, people. And I bought this sausage here. It's actually quite pleasant comes in sort of a 
bit of a wrapper thing you take that off and it's nice i'm gonna put a bit of that on that turkish pizza with a bit of cheese <laughs> now, now those that are watching are probably thinking you don't put cheese on one of them og <laughs> hey you know what live a little risk it people that turkish pizza was absolutely lovely i, I added some extras because they're only thin it's like a wrap really <clears throat> but very very nice indeed and now miss me and mrs og we're just sitting down on netflix and we're looking at this vince mcmahon wrestling wwf thing you know or wwe depending on the age you are i mean i knew it as wwf yes well before the wildlife <laughs> no wildlife fun i think was first actually but anyway we digress so we'll have a look at it and apparently he doesn't come out too well in it anyway I'll let you know. Happy Saturday, people. I've just come out to the games room. It's actually back two o'clock now. Uh, and so but I haven't been laying in bed all that time before you start. No, I haven't. Uh, I've been busy up in the office doing stuff for the channel on the computer. Bit of editing, uploading some bonus videos for the weekend. You're watching this Tuesday, so they would have dropped on Sunday. Um, anyway, yeah. So this needs a good sort out out here. I mean, there's just stuff everywhere. As you can see, it's just messy, messy, messy. Loads of games and stuff to sort through. Um, so I need a good bit of a session out here. But we're just going to nip over to the island first. I was going into my local town to go and meet my mate Al for a good few beers. <laughs> but the problem is they've closed the main motorway. And all the traffic is coming through the town, so the whole town is absolutely gridlocked. And from my house, as the crow flies, it's probably about four or five miles in the town. As the crow flies, it'll take me about an hour each way to get there and get home. So do you know what? I said to Mrs. OG, sorry, oh, you know, we're going to have to give it a miss. I mean, he might be back tomorrow, I don't know, I'll have to check with him. Um, so instead, we've got to go and get some cat food for Luna, the cat, of course, because that cat does eat like it's going out of fashion. Yes. So we're going to nip over to the island where the traffic is not so mental. Um, there's a local, the local micropub thing is open today from four, and I think they're doing uh, Oktoberfest <laughs> so there's curry breakfast available from 5 p.m. I know Mrs. OG wants to get back home because Strictly's on tonight <clears throat> cha 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 <laughs> what else is on tonight so that's great when that's on I'm getting out here to start sorting out because it needs it people but the sad thing is this look I'm in a hoodie I tell you, the sun is out today but it's the temperature is it's not so good. I'm glad I got my little heater down earlier in the week because I, do you know what? I think I'm going to pop that on. Going to come out here, have a tidy up, a straight out, a couple of items I need to post off. Get all that packaged up. Get the heater on. Few tunes, yes. Bit of music, bit of vinyl, and uh, just to have a good chill while she's watching that Strictly stuff. Yes, because I'm avoiding it. <laughs> no strictly for me. Anyway, guys, onwards and upwards. Let's get over and get that loony some cat food. Just waiting for Mrs. OG. She's getting changed. So I'm in her little craft room. Look at me. Yeah, there you go a little nosy round. This is where the creations happen, people. Oh, yes, it is indeed. Yeah, it's good to have your own little space to do things, bless her. There's that cupboard that was in my office. Got rid of it now. Full of her art and craft bits in there. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, I, every time I come in, I always giggle at this. That cat there, look at that. Isn't he cool? It's cool for cats. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> You'd say cats. I'm looking around here. There's cats everywhere. But Mrs. OG's a bit obsessed. <laughs> everywhere you look, there's cats. Yeah, talk to cats. Um, get that lunar fed, shall we? Shopping done. Luna has 80 pouches of cat food. Oh, that cat, I tell you. Anyway, I bought myself a little pasty for a snack because I'm a bit, a bit peckish. Oh. oh, now Mrs. OG's decided to put her bag in at the last minute as I'm about to shut the door. Back at the car, people. I bought myself some LED lighting for my office because I look like an alcove where my computer and that sits. So I'm going to have a go at fit, fitting all that later. I've got a, a picture to hang up in the oh. office. Yeah, and I bought myself a pasty because I've not eaten anything today, so I thought I'd better eat something before I could take Mrs. OG down to her pub that she likes going to. 
<laughs> I'd only go because you want to go. Oh, please. You make me go. It's Oktoberfest. Today. They in do September. Carry, yeah, Oktoberfest in September. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully then, because it's Oktoberfest, I'm hoping they've got a good, decent... They have. They listed it all, and I thought, oh, yeah, you... You like, don't know what I'm about to say. Beers. Decent yeah, beers. Yeah, a decent yeah. lager, because... Yes, I've got a lager on. Because... German lager is generally quite strong, oh, so yeah. I'm hoping there's a good 5% lager, a couple of those that go down very nice. I'll find the list. Excellent. The, they did list them all. Okay. Anyway, we went to B&M and Mrs. OG come out very lightly. We were in and out. Very busy today. Yeah, it's not well, like our I usual wasn't, little I trip. I wasn't up for coming out today, to be honest. Yeah. But anyway, we weren't out for long, were we? No. Right, let's get home. Let's get home. Get Luna some grub down, all right? <laughs> Bought myself some lights to go in this sort of alcove here. Um, Energizer ones. Be honest, they're plugging the mains LED lights. Five meters on there for 1999. I looked in home base only yesterday and it was like 30 quid for three meters. So I didn't think that was a bad deal. I just think it's going to get a bit of a, a nice, when I'm in here for an evening, I can put the LEDs on, have a nice bit of ambient lighting, people. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Anyway, <laughs> see if they're any good, eh? I'll have to wait till tonight, obviously, to see if they do the job. Mrs. OG dragged me down the, the little micro pop-up pub and I had that wrecking ball wishbone. It was very tasty indeed. So thanks, Mrs. OG. I'm glad you fetched me out. <coughs> That's my bratwurst, people. My bratwurst here. Very nicely bought to me, for me by my neighbour Norman, bless him. <laughs> this is covered in some sort of curry. I'm going to give that a go now. And uh, Mrs. OG's enjoying the chips. <laughs> We then moved inside because it was getting a bit nippy out there. But all in all, a great afternoon. Finished at the micro pub there. It was very, very nice. Only open once a month. Don't think they were so keen. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's good. Bit of brat versus sausage there or curry versed. With some nice chips. And the lager was rather palatable, shall we say. Evening people out in the games room. Mrs. OG is watching a bit of Strictly Come Dancing. Uh, the micro pub was quite good this afternoon, quite enjoyed that. I had uh, a couple of pints, well, three pints actually, of the um, that German lager. It's probably an England brew company brewing up. I don't know, German type lager, but it's very nice, it's very nice. A bit of brat versus sausage there with uh, a bit of nice of that sort of breakfast curry. It was very good, very good. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable. Just wrapped up a couple of packages ready to go off. Um, but I do need to get out here and have a good old clean up. Yes, I do, I've got stuff to do up in the office. A bit of clean up out here. Uh, I've ordered an Indian tonight. I'm having an Indian delivered oh, from a new place. That's always a gamble, isn't it? It's a place I don't know. It's been open for years, but I've never ever used it uh, for a takeaway delivery. Although it was recommended by LNC Travels some time ago, Hot and Herbs it's called. So I thought I'd give it a go. Because I haven't got to pay for delivery, it comes as part of an Amazon Prime deal. So I thought, why not? Why not? I very rarely order Indian takeaway to be delivered, to be fair, because I always find you'll order it and then two hours later you're still waiting, you phone up and they go, yeah, 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 it's just gone out. And then you phone them an hour later and then it arrives. You know, it, honestly, they're usually quite rough. So, I, I, yeah, I've taken a bit of a gamble tonight. Let's see if this company stick to their guns and do what they say. They reckon about an hour's delivery time, which is fine. I can live with that. We shall see, though. I'll hold you to that one, Herbs. Let's see if you can do the business. Anyway, carry on with a bit of a tidy up out here. And a bottle of beer, methinks. San Miguel. Oh yes. Just run them LEDs as you can see. Obviously when you stand up, it's less obvious. Um, there's several colors. I will zoom in and show you some. Sorry for the grainy footage I'm filming from my phone. My main camera's out the back. We have red. <laughs> we have green. We have blue and white. It's probably my favourite because it's uh, and everything in between. You can fade, strobe, flash, etc. But hey, 
but have no flash in here if you don't mind. So that's done. I need to mount this box up here properly tomorrow. I need a bit of trunking to run down the wall. So it all ties in very neatly indeed. But overall, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. It's better than having the main light on. Yeah, so all good in the hood, people. Yeah, get me monitor running. There we go, that's a bit better. So I'm quite pleased with that. I think it looked quite nice. Yeah. What sort of mood am I in? Hmm. I'm feeling a bit blue. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm feeling angry. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm feeling environmentally friendly. Actually, let's just stick with white. <laughs> Good morning, people. It is Sunday. Just popped in the game room to pick out this device here, the camera. I left it in there last night. You know, as you can hear, the football's going on over in the park. The locals are all at it. Charging around, kicking a round object about, end to end. West Ham got a point yesterday. Cough. I didn't. I haven't watched match of the day or anything, so I don't know if it was deserved point or not. But hey, I'm not complaining. A point away from home, yeah. Especially with the form we've had of late. So, but you know, I'm, I'm keeping the faith with uh, the new manager. I think he's just got to wait, bed things down. You know what I mean? <laughs> he says, hopefully. Um, yeah, but you know what football fans are like, they're very fickle, so they'll start turning on him, I'd imagine, in a couple of games if you don't start pulling out some results. But, you know, it's tough at the top, so they say, especially with football, mate, because there's no easy game in that Premier League. No, there isn't. Anyway, plans for today. I've got to go and post a couple of packages, so I'll print the labels off now, go up to the office, do that, and hang that picture frame up in the office, get that done. Uh, I've got to check, I've got some plasterboard fixings actually. Mm, should have got them when I was in the garage. Uh, I've got to go and pick up little OG from his mates over on the island. Might take Mrs. OG with me a bit earlier, have a little walk if it's not raining. But looking like that, it could well rain. Anyway, no real plans today. Get out in the games room, get up in the office, just a bit of sorting out. Uh, I need to attend to the website actually, I've not been on that for a. <sighs> I've not done anything on it for a week, so I really need to catch up. Especially as I've just had a week off, people. Oh, yes. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Happy Sunday to you. Oh, and I bought half a leg of lamb yesterday. <laughs> because over on the Discord, everyone was talking, and they were like, oh, I'm off for a roast. Oh, I'm having... And I thought, you know what? It's been a while since we've had a roast dinner. So, yeah, I'm having a nice roast lamb today. Oh, I haven't had a roast for a while. Because we generally, on a Sunday, have what we fancy instead of just having a roast, a traditional roast, especially with the weather when it's nicer. So, you know, you don't always want a roast dinner. So, But today, I fancy a roast, so we'll be having that a bit late. We won't have it at lunchtime, we'll have it probably late evening. Late afternoon, early evening. Yeah. And of course, back to work tomorrow, people. Oh yes, as my old man used to say, every good thing comes to pass. And, and unless it's <laughs> a week off work, I don't mind work, actually. I enjoy work, so it's not a problem. Um... But yeah, anyway, I've had a great week off, but hey, I ain't over yet. I've got today to go. Here she is, Leia the cat. You right, Leia? No. Want strokies? Yeah. Yeah? Bless her. As you know, she loves being outside, but it's yeah. even a bit nippy for her now. She's staying in. And yeah, mate? Hey? Yeah, no, it's true. <laughs> she always does that. She goes to meow and always yawns. <laughs> Bless her. Getting the Star Wars film poster up, and I've got these fixings that go into plasterboard, but unfortunately, I've hit a bit of a snag. Let me show you. As you can see there, these fixings, they screw into plasterboard, where you haven't got like, um, and obviously if I, if I had a lump of wood solid piece, then I'd just screw straight into it. But with this one, I've, I've got these, and they're plastic, so as you can see, it's shattered. So I'm gonna have to go and get the metal ones. But unfortunately, I've run out of the metal ones, so I'm gonna have to go to screw fix. Ho oh, hum, oh well, give me a chance to deliver or drop them parcels off en route. Just ordered on screw fix. Press enter. Minute later, your collection's ready. So I'm off now to take that, post them parcels, and uh, get this picture up. Just back from screw fix. Um, <laughs> just eaten my, um, the rest of my <laughs> Indian from yesterday. I actually had it cold. <laughs> Bloody lovely. <laughs> anyway, I've got my fixings. These are prop up, these ones. Yeah, I just thought I'd save myself having to go out. Because then my plastic ones were lying around in the garage. But no, these. These are the proper jobbies, mate. 
they're proper metal, so they go right in the wall, decent like. And you get the screw to go into it as well. So all good in the hood. Um, 10 99 for 100. Can't go wrong, people. It's a lot of fixings for your money. So anyway, anyone who's got um, a, a, a house where you've got plasterboard walls inside as well, as well as sort of solid balls. Very, very useful indeed. That's my DIY tip of the day. Ta-da! Job's done. Job's a good one. Frame is in place. It's all coming together. Got me LED lighting. Got me, me quad movie poster frame up, which is always good. Yeah, and an, that's a nice old image, that one. I do like that one. Got a bit of reflection from the window, but... You know, at night, it'll come into its own. Since I've cleared the, the the office upstairs, Luna is up here all the time. She loves looking at the screens. She just loves seeing what's been moved about and stuff like that. Yeah, bless her. But anyway. You all right there, Loon? You're fixated with this one. Yep, yeah, she's liking a bit of silent scope, is Loon. Should we put it on? You want to play it? She's fixated. Look, she hit the start button. So excited we can get her. <laughs> look at her, look. Fixated. My cat loves silent scope. Just picked up little OG and popped into Weatherspoons for a pint or two. It's Sunday, nearly evening actually. Late afternoon, early evening. Approaching five, I think. So, yeah. All the shops are shut, but Weatherspoons is still open, people. I hope you've had a good weekend. Uh, we'll get back, probably get in the games room for an hour or so. Oh, Lady Stella. Uh, we've got to do Mega Drive Game of the Week. We're on B. And just get ready to start work, really, tomorrow, I suppose. Start editing this vlog, maybe, in front of the telly with Mrs. OG. Might watch a film later. What are you doing tonight, Josh? Um, sleep. <laughs> he's been staying his mates. His mates got young kids, and the young kids find it a bit of a novelty when he's there. So they get up and wake him up nice and early. Yeah. Oh yes. It was, uh, originally, it was um, at quarter past six this morning. Quarter past six. Ah, oh. yeah. that ain't bad for a Sunday morning, is it? When you're having a late night, up playing COD till the early hours, and then you're up at six. That's good. So they got you up, son? Uh, yeah, very early. Oh, well. Earlier than what I, I'm used to. Oh, well. Yeah. Well, anyway, look at this here. Look, guys. Sticky Korean fried chicken bowl. New. No. £7.49. If you think that's good. Oh, what's the other side? Oh, here he goes. He loves his bloody chicken wings, this boy. I tell you, wings, bites and strips. I tell you what, the chicken wings in here are good. I know. Very I had good. some the other day. Another point even before I get home because I've got a nice roast lamb in the oven. Oh yes, and a nice roast dinner at the Fancy a bit of a roast. Cheers people. Because people on the Discord all talk about their roast dinners. And I thought I'm having some of that, so I bought myself half a leg of lamb. Doing nice Yorkshire pudding with it. Yeah, look forward to it. Load of gravy. Yeah, anyway. Does. It is Monday night, people. No, things haven't gone wrong. Simply run out of time yesterday, and I realised I had like the Mega Drive game of the week to do, some comic books to change out, and then pops, vinyl album pops, which are actually over there. Uh, where we're going to put them up? So we're going to do that. So it's a little addition, and then I'm going to go and get this edited tonight, ready for tomorrow. When you're watching it, Tuesday onwards. So, <laughs> without further ado, people, let's get to it. I think the first things first, really, is look at these comic books here and decide who's coming or who's going and who's going in. Yeah, I've got three new ones, as you saw. Well, I don't know if you saw it or not. It was on that London bonus. Um, I love this cover. I'll be absolutely honest. Uh, so that is definitely going up there, that Harley Quinn one there. Um, <laughs> I like this, but I don't know if it's vibrant enough. But to be honest, you can probably replace that Vampirella that's already up there. Yeah, so that, that can make an appearance. And then we've got this one here, which I probably 
one, but it's Final Fight issue number two. Uh, now, the first Final Fight comic was brilliant, uh, it's, but the artwork inside is really good. It's my sort of artwork, mate. I love this sort of artwork for comic books. It's just classic, old, traditional stuff of that. Yeah. And every page is like that. They're all uh, very, 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 very vibrant indeed. Like I say, that's issue number two following the final fight story. So, I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of sort of anime style art. Sorry, don't hate me for it. I just never have been. So, we're going to put them two in there. So let's get two out and let's swap them out, shall we? I had a change of opinion <laughs> and all three of them have made the comic book wall. Let's get you in shot there, people. Yep, so as you can see there, that bottom row now are the three new books. Yes, and that final fight book did make it because I thought it's quite light, it's quite vibrant. And so I thought, yeah, go on, why not? Why not? So all change, please, all change for the comic book service, calling that change. Anyway, next up, I've got them two pops, uh, pop album, album pops. Just it's weird saying pop album because they're metal albums. But anyway, I've got these to put up somewhere. And I'm just looking around, I've got to make a decision. Uh, I've got a few options, let me show you my options. And uh, I will decide on one, and then if you agree or disagree, drop in the comments for me, as always, people. So I've got a choice. I could put one either side of the, uh, the, the Joker poster there. I could put two down there, going down there. Or my other option is this bit of wall here where I'll keep my 100 games to play bucket list, which I haven't even marked one off of yet. I could mount them on there, that wall. That's quite blank. Or I could mount them over on this wood wall somewhere. To be honest, I'm probably favouring at the moment over here. Yeah, I don't. Mm. <laughs> decisions, decisions. I'll tell you something, people, right? I'll tell you this much for nothing. It's hard being me. D -d decisions I have to make. How do I cope? Oh dear. Hmm. On the wall there, mounted them now. Don't know if I'm like them there or not. Keep looking at it and thinking, hmm, should I keep them there or what? I, I don't know, I'm in two minds. What do you guys think? I really appreciate your opinion on this. Anyway, there you go, you've got a more front view angle there. Yeah, I don't know. Or do you think they look better coming down? Or do you think I need to get another two to even the score? <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to leave them there for a bit and I'll see if I'll come to love them there or not. Yeah. Hmm. I, I really don't know, you know. I'm looking back over there at the OG Duffy sign, maybe one either side of that. <sighs> what to do? Help me out, people. Comment. Right, it's that time of the week. Let's go find the, uh, the Genesis. Oh, yes. And we are on the letter B. So let's get past them A's. Aero B's Animaniacs. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Bob. Uh, oh, no, have I gone too far? Oh, no, Ayrton. That's it. So Bob, Back to the Future 3. Ball Jacks, Balls, Barbie, Streets of Rage. Why is that? Oh, Bare Knuckle 2, Streets of Rage. Uh, Barkley, Shut Up and Jam. Barney, <laughs> Bass Players. Uh, Batman, Batman Forever, Batman Returns, Squad Battle Squadron. There we go, Battle Squadron. It's a new one on me. Oof, we've gone dark. It's Electronic Arts. Right. Hmm. Battle Squadron, 1990. Remember, the controls are a little bit iffy, so I have to take your time with this. Commander Barry Dimensi. Right, okay. I'm guessing that this is going to be a shoot em up, but with all this storyline that I'm not reading, it might not be. Ah, no, it is a shoot em up. Good choice, Rob. I do enjoy a shoot em up. Right, so that's fire. And that's my special. Right, cool. It's, it's quite an easy shoot em up at the moment. I think maybe it's just easing us in gently. The bullets are coming at you are relatively slow, which isn't a bad thing. 
maybe she's teasing us into a full sense of security. Oh, speeding up now, speeding up. Yeah, it, it was just tempting us in, shall we say. Ah, oh, I thought I could dodge him, but let's fly between them. I'll shoot that. Oh, you idiot, Rob. Uh, I'm actually quite enjoying that. Do you know what? I'm going to have another game. One player. Yeah, let's go. I don't know if it's continued or not. No, it hasn't. Start it again. Oh, I didn't give it enough patience, Rob. You spat. I should have used my special. I've got my specials here. Why aren't I using them? There we go. Let's get that, that power up. Oh, that's going to make life a little bit easier. Nice power up there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Use my special again. Oh, thought I had him, but he had me. That's a nice power up. I'm liking this one. I've still got two of them missiles to use, so I should start using them a bit, really. That's a decent power up we've got now. Uh, I'll tell you what, that's a good little game. I'm impressed with that one for B. Good stuff. Battle Squadron, that one, on the Sega Mega Drive Genesis. To be honest, I think that was a, that was quite an enjoyable shoot 'em up Initially, it suckers you in because you think, oh, it's nice and slow. Oh, yeah, this is easy. This is a doddle. But you know what? It wasn't as easy as I thought. And I think what it is, although them bullets are slow and everything else... I think that's what catches you out. You expect it will be a bit faster. But that was actually very, very enjoyable. First time I've ever played that. Battle Squadron. Mega Drive. Genesis. You ever played that one before? Do you agree or disagree with me? I'll keep looking over at them. What do you think? Yay or nay? Yay or nay? Anyway, guys, that concludes this week's vlog. Apologies if there's been a lack of gameplay on this one. But I will be shooting a um, special video. Remember the ones I drop occasionally where it's just beers and gaming. And I'm in the games room playing all different games. Just selecting them off the shelves. Playing them and drinking different beers. Yes, indeed. So I'll be filming one of them real, real soon. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. So that should make up for the lack this week. I apologise. So anyway, let's conclude this weekend vlog. Obviously, I've got my maiden tickets. Happy days with that indeed. Like I say, I was a little bit confused when I booked them because it says on the website, oh, your, your row, blah, 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 seat numbers, boom, boom, boom. But you're in the standing section. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, <laughs> and if anyone's got any thoughts on this, please do let me know. I'm hoping... That it's just seat. Like, it's not seated. It is just standing, uh, and it's just doing it for the sake of numbers for ticket sales. <sighs> I hope. <laughs> anyway, I don't get amongst it in the crowd like I used to many moons ago. But I just like to have the freedom to walk about and go for a pee without upsetting people. Oh, excuse me, stand up. I want to go and get another beer. Can I get past you and all that? That, that does my head in it, gigs. So I'm hoping it's not seated on the pitch. And of course it's at West Ham and we all know Maiden do specialist t-shirts when they do these gigs in places. So I'm hoping for some, some yeah, a decent shirt. And they usually have a West Ham sort of Maiden shirt uh, as part of their sort of um, a deal when, when you go watch them. Don't get me wrong, it won't be cheap. It'll be, it'll be an expensive old football shirt, but it's a Maiden shirt. So both great things, Maiden and West Ham. What's not to love, people? What's not to love? Uh, anyway, so that that's, was probably the highlight of this weekend, getting them tickets. I got well excited. Little OG was like, why is he so happy? I said, because I've got Maiden tickets. He's like, and? Oh, God. <laughs> but anyway, I, I was just so, so over the moon with that. Um, had nice few little beers, nothing heavy. 
Uh, I enjoyed them couple of Sunday evening beers with, with little OG over on the island there in Weatherspoons. Yeah, it's most sort of Sunday evenings. I'm in here really, winding down. But oh, it's Monday night, really, yeah. And it's what I usually do this yesterday. Anyway, look after yourselves, people. If you haven't got anything to look up or forward to this week, book something. I mean, what we got coming out this coming weekend? The new Joker film will be out. Yes, I'm looking forward to that. I thought the first Joker film was brilliant. I really loved it. It's just really about mental illness, isn't it? And mental health more than anything. Great, 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 great film. So I'm looking forward to that one. Maybe book yourself some tickets for it. Yeah. Anyway, I've been OG Duffy. Let me know how your weekend has been, what you've been up to, and all that good stuff in the comments, of course. And I, my fellow gamers, vloggers, beer drinkers, shoppers, whatever you all are, look after yourselves. Stay safe, and I'll see you all on the next one, people. Oh, yes. Happy days.